Oh, hi. Hey guys, welcome back to the Nikki Show. Welcome back, YouTube fam. Okay, so today I will be talking. Yeah, I put you in my cupboard, but like, yeah. Okay. Welcome back. I am super excited about today because I got <laughs> another job, actually. I, I've been in, that's three jobs I have now, by the way, like three, three. So this particular job I have been applying for for months and I think I actually did make another video about the day that they decided to overlook me. But I finally went back and I applied again for a different position and they hired me. It's at a local casino, kind of little family diner type thing. But I'm gonna be a cashier and we just, I'm so excited. It's just closer to where I live and I love it. And okay, so I decided to celebrate because I don't really drink alcohol that much. Um, to go and treat myself with some bath supplies because I love taking baths and taking care of my nails and my skin and my hair. You guys know I love, love taking care of my hair. So I thought I would just show you or explain to you like my quick little bath routine. And I just realized I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> it's funny. Oh well. Okay, so first of all, let me just show you guys my bathtub. Like, there's a little seat here, and it's kind of tore up. It needs to be redone. But that's my bathtub. And then there's two shower heads. Okay, so first of all, what I like to do with my bath is I will usually, and I take really, really hot, hot temperature baths and showers, guys. I mean, like, your skin will turn red. Like, that's how hot I take my showers. Um, so first of all, I turn the bath on, obviously, but while that's filling, I usually put, well, okay, I take two types of baths. One is, you know, just to get clean, you know, just wash my hair, clean my face, stuff like that. And then another type of bath I like to take is like a therapeutic, clean, like thoroughly cleansing your pores and stuff like that. So for that type of bath, I usually put in some Epsom salts and lavender is really relaxing and it smells good to me. Um, and then I usually put in some oils, maybe some baby oil or essential oils because it's really good for your skin and it smells good. It keeps your skin perfectly oiled so you're not dry after your bath. Especially as people with psoriasis or eczema, that is so important to do, guys. And also, if you are taking super hot baths, remember to drink some water. Like some temperature or cold water because if you don't you might pass out <laughs> all right so next or you know uh, as long as oil i put um baby oil sometimes in there that's good too so i do that and then i have scrubbers for my toes and I just got some new bath supplies, like I said, today. Um, so I got this today at the Dollar Tree. 
it's a quadruple foot scrubber thing. It has the bristles and the stone and the file and the coarse metal scrubber scraper thing to get your calluses. That is super important to me, guys. Even my spouse right now, he loves taking care of his nails and feet too. So I, you know, it's been kind of a struggle, but I finally got enough money to make a little bit of, spoil myself a little bit. Okay, guys. So in addition to scrubbing your feet, I also scrub my nails. I use... Get in the bathtub real quick. So I use this for my fingernails and I just get in between and under the nails and the cuticles, all that. I wash my hair with some head and shoulders coconut infused shampoo and it's a two in one so you don't really have to use conditioner even though I put oil in my hair anyways when I get out. And then for my face, if I'm not using just soap, I exfoliate with this. This is to scrub all the dead skin off your face. And then this is like a pad for soft stuff. And right now, I am using this. Um, it's called Purity Made Simple. It's a one-step facial cleanser. And it's really good. Like, it leaves your skin really soft. And, you know, there's no harsh oils in it. Um, it doesn't irritate your skin. I mean, it depends on what kind of skin you have. You always want to make sure you know what kind of soaps and shampoos your skin can handle. I have learned that the hard way. Um, and then, like on nights or days before I'm getting ready for like a photo shoot or something like that, I usually put on this facelift stuff. I just started using it. It's amazing. By Dr. Sivin, Sivan plastic surgeon and I don't really believe in plastic surgery but this is in a this is different it's kind of like the clay masks you just put it on leave it on for a few minutes all over your face um, and it tightens and it, it firms your skin so I use that usually all over my face not too close to my eyes um, under my chin um, if you guys do buy that remember don't talk because you'll actually break break it and it'll create cracks in your skin so I use that and then when I get out of the bath and then I use this um, acne free terminator it's an acne spot treatment it's kind of dirty, but it's because it's old. But I use that and it lasts me a really long time. And then like I said, I kind of spoiled myself today. So I got the scrubber and then I got me and my spouse um, some nail polish remover. Because, uh, you know, sometimes he uses it. Um, this is, again, Dollar Tree, it's not nothing special, it's just, but it does say strengthening with vitamin E and alcohol for natural nails. Like I said, guys, I will never ever get my nails professionally, like, putting acrylics or anything back on, because that killed my natural nails like absolutely murdered him it took like three almost four weeks for my real nails to come back um, so and then tonight 
I will be using some bath bombs or a bath bomb. I got this three, this triple pack in it's watermelon because that watermelon and aloe looks like that. It's just a cute little bag. Hydrating bath bombs for all skin types. Turn your bath into an, a, re a relaxing experience. So I'll be using one of those tonight and I'm possibly going to be painting my nails or something because working at Burger King, my nails have been taking quite the hit lately. Like almost all of my nails that were like that are like that now and chipped and all kinds of things. So that's my bath time review and I can't really give you a house tour just because we might be moving again in February, so.